We are given f of x and g of x and asked to find f minus g of x and f minus g of negative two. For number one, f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. And f of x is equal to three x squared minus five x plus two minus g of x, which is equal to x squared minus four x minus five. It is important that we have the functions in parentheses so that we are subtracting each term of g of x from f of x. And now let's clear the parentheses. If it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here, and because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one here. Distributing positive one doesn't change anything. We have three x squared minus five x plus two. Distributing negative one is going to change the sign of each term inside the parentheses. Negative one times x squared is negative x squared, giving us minus x squared. And then negative one times negative four x is positive four x, giving us plus four x. And negative one times negative five is equal to positive five, giving us plus five. Or we can also just think of subtracting each term, which gives us minus x squared, minus negative four x, which gives us plus four x, and then minus negative five, which gives us plus five. And now we combine like terms. We have two x squared terms, we have two x terms, and we have two constants. If it's helpful, we can include the coefficient of negative one for the negative x squared term here. 3x squared minus 1x squared is 2x squared. Negative 5x plus 4x is negative 1x, giving us minus 1x or just minus x. And 2 plus 5 is 7, giving us plus 7. So now we know f minus g of x equals 2x squared minus x plus 7. And now we need to find f minus g of negative 2, and we can do this two ways. One way is to substitute negative two for x into our function f minus g of x. For the second method, because f minus g of x equals f of x minus g of x, we can also determine this function value by determining f of negative two minus g of negative two. Let's show both methods. For the first method, we will use the function that we just found, f minus g of x. f minus g of negative two is equal to Substituting negative two for x into f minus g of x gives us two times the square of negative two minus negative two plus seven. Simplifying the square of negative two is equal to positive four, which gives us two times four. Then minus negative two is equivalent to plus two, and we have plus seven. Multiplying two times four is eight. Eight plus two plus seven is equal to 17 f minus g of negative two is equal to 17. But now let's also determine f minus g of negative two by determining f of negative two minus g of negative two. And let's do this on the next slide. Again, f minus g of negative two is equal to f of negative two minus g of negative two. To determine f of negative two, we substitute negative two for x in f of x which gives us three times the square of negative two minus five times negative two plus two minus g of negative two is equal to the square of negative two minus four times negative two minus five. And now we simplify inside the parentheses here and here, then determine the difference. Simplifying the exponents first, here we have the square of negative two, which is positive four. Here we also have the square of negative two, which is positive four. And now we multiply and set the parentheses here and here. Three times four is 12. Here we have minus five times negative two, which is minus negative 10, which is equivalent to plus 10. Here we have four, and then minus four times negative two is minus negative eight which is equivalent to plus eight. And now we find the sum and difference inside the parentheses. 
12 plus 10 plus 2 is 24. 4 plus 8 is 12, minus 5 is 7. And 24 minus 7 is 17, of course giving us the same result. The second method may be faster if we weren't first asked to find f minus g of x. I hope you found this helpful.